Hi everybody, welcome to Lawless TV, the place to be if you want to do something meaningful with your life and make money with it. And she is a transformational coach who helps mothers start their own business and author of Motivated Mummies, the five steps to building confidence. Hi Tammy, how are you? Tammy Rolf with me here. Hello, I'm very good, thank you. Well, tell me what they were motivated mummy. So I always feel like, you know, mothers are like, you know, they have the superpower, right? So yeah. they, you know, they manage the kids and the household and work and, you know, like it blows my mind as a guy. I, I, I just cannot do that, right? And they become these, these lionesses you know, when it comes to the children. Why do they need to be motivated? Well, good question. Um, mums are superheroes, but they don't always know that they've got these superpowers. I speak to many, many mums, and quite often that they say that they haven't done anything special that day. And I say to them, you know, come on, you've, you've cared for your children, you've helped them to grow, to develop, to, to develop their own uniqueness, and they don't see that as special. So sometimes they need just that little bit of encouragement to help them realize how amazing they are um, to, build, to build their confidence and to realize that being a mum is an amazing job. It's not just a, you know, brush it off kind of thing. It, I, it, it's fantastic. And I, to and I totally agree, right? So when I talk to mums and they, they, they want to go back into the, into the job world, like, yeah, but I've been out of the job for so long. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> the, yeah. the, the, the project management skills that you have right now and the resilience, right? Uh, yeah. And the, the energy that you, and the follow through that you're showing every day, who will not want to work with you, right? But mm. you have a different angle. You say, no, why don't go back to, uh, why do you want to go back to the uh, work, uh, work world, start your own business? Mm -hmm. Well, I think a lot of mums are moving more into working for themselves because they want to have that, that, mm, fulfillment of working you know of running a business of because it is hard work to have children but it's more challenging to run a business if you're an academic kind of person you don't need so much academic skills to raise your children it's a whole nother skill set right. so there's a lot of women that you know they they want it all and they're learning that they can't actually have it all so a lot of mums are wanting to go back to business, but they're finding it much easier to run their own business because then they can be more flexible and raise their children at the same time. So tell me about the five steps. Okay, so the five steps. And I wrote this book so that mums can either help themselves to build their confidence, but they can also, the steps are so easy, um, so simple that they can help their children as well. Right. I was having a lot of parents come to me saying that their children had anxiety and low confidence. So as I had that myself, I had 20 years of anxiety, social phobia. I know exactly what it feels like to come from that place. So step one is identify the problem. And this is a crucial step because so many people don't even acknowledge the fact that they have a problem in the first place. So what are the problems that you're, that you're seeing? So confidence it would just be some people might think it's normal to not be able to go into a situation because they'll say well you know everyone finds it hard to go into a new situation well that's not true and uh, not everybody does find it hard but if you're finding that hard then you need to identify that and acknowledge that that is a problem you know that could be cured mm -hmm. so you then need to educate yourself that's so, step, two. Like, yep. step two yeah step two educate yourself and you can do this um, being self-taught or you can find somebody who's got what you want. So, you know, obviously we're coaches. We, we can see the value of getting a coach because, you know, they've achieved what we want to achieve and they help us to get there. Mm -hmm. Step two is to educate yourself. Step three is to accept who you are because we are all born so different and so unique, yet we're all trying to fit into the same mold. You know, we're all trying to be the same as everyone else. We need to just step back from that and go, actually, I'm pretty awesome because I'm me. Oh, totally. Yeah. And, and, and it begins in school, right? So where, you know, you, you, you know if, if you're a, a child that needs to be physically and do, do something physically and you're like a gifted dancer, right? Um, yeah. 
you're not going to be good, doing well in school, right? Because you have to fit the mold, right? And that then continues through college and, uh, and work, right? So how do you right. determine that? Confidence, not it. Sorry? So how do you determine this? Like what, where, where the conflict is and how to move forward? Okay, I think it's quite, it's quite in depth, but it would be small steps as in, I start off with getting our, the mums to praise themselves, you know? If you look at every day, what you've done that is is good, is special, has benefited yourself or someone else, you know, the things that you've done are different to the things that somebody else has done. And it's just the slow process of just starting to acknowledge that you've you've achieved things that day. Right. Okay. Um, another small step is by not going on Instagram and the social medias all the time and to change who you're following. If you're just following these supermodels, you're going to think that you should look like them. You know, and realistically, we don't. We're all different shapes and sizes. The supermodels look like supermodels, right? So it's like totally Photoshop, but yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. But I was, um, me and my partner were away for a few days. We were sat in a, a beautiful restaurant having our breakfast, and there was a mum on the table next to me, and she was flicking through Instagram. And she was saying to her son, oh, I'm really honest with her daughter, who was probably about 14. Uh, very pretty, but a little bit bigger than the mum, size-wise. And she said, if, if I think, I can't remember what her name was, if I think Chloe's fat, I'll tell Chloe she's fat. And I'm sitting there cringing, thinking, oh my goodness, you know, she's not fat. And then the next thing, the mum shows the boy an Instagram picture, on, and I could see it. It was a supermodel in a bikini and all tanned up, skinny. And she's like, look, she goes, that's what I want to look like. And I just thought, how are these children being raised to think that they need to look like that supermodel? How is that 14-year-old ever going to feel that she's good enough and pretty and gorgeous if her mum is telling her she needs to look like that supermodel? Yeah. So and, that's, and, that's exactly. what I want to start. No, and, and children like to, they, they, they tend to live up to the standards that the parent sets, right? And if you, uh, yeah. if you communicate that, that your own standards are, or that you're not meeting standards, you know, you prime your kids for, yeah, I totally get that. So what's it, so how do you, so then, uh, I guess that's step four and five are about uh, resolution so once, you, once you've accepted yourself and realized that everybody has their own uniqueness, it's then time to take action. And this is the big one, isn't it? It's like what all coaches push for, you've got to take action. So um, the book, it tells you how to take action when you're feeling you know, unsteady on yourself, um, uncertain. Yeah. It gives you small steps that you could take. And also it explains how you could take bigger steps. Yeah. Small steps yeah. get small action, big steps get big action. You know, they get big results. So the more you do, the more you see, and the more that builds up your confidence. And you're the role model there, right? So I mean, I've, 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 I've seen your work and you're one of the hardest working people that I know, right? So, and I know that you're, you're very much into, you know, words without action are wasted. You know, like, you know, we've got to do things and we've got to make mm -hmm. things happen. Um, how do you get to that point? I mean, it, it, usually coaches, what I know about coaches is um, they have their own story, you know, first that they're solved for themselves and then, uh, uh, want to share that with the world. So, so what's your story? Yes, yeah, so I'll try and keep it short. It's a, it's a big story, but I'll keep it short. So two years ago, I was feeling very much like there, there wasn't any point going on. I mean, I had my, my beautiful teenagers. I was in a loving relationship. I had my own business and I had all these material things around me. But inside, I just felt like I was worthless. You know, there was no need for me. My children had grown up. They were independent, you know, and I'd lived for my kids. So what the hell was the point of me now? Yeah. And, yeah. and I was actually at a really, really low point. And I was told about Tony Robbins. And I'd, I'd never heard of him before, which is crazy, isn't it? Because he's so, so famous. And I'd never heard of him. So, you know, I, I was diagnosed with social phobia, with anxiety, depression, I was on a whole load of medication just to get me through the days. And I, I went off to his seminar, the UPW, Unleash the Power Within. And literally in four days, he turned my life around. I mean, I'd been going to counsellors for years. And I came out of there a whole different person. I had no anxiety, whereas before I'd been scared to walk out of the house. 
Um, I came off all my medication within three weeks because you have to do it slowly. And no depression since two years later. I've just like, this is what I, sh this is what everyone should feel like. You should feel comfortable in your own skin. Yeah. And I just mm -hmm. thought, that's it. I need to change my career. I need to tell the world that they don't have to suffer. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what I decided to do. I came straight home. I went on his coaching courses. And from then on, I've just been helping people to just feel the freedom that I now feel. You know, if I want to say something, I'll say it. If I want to go out of the house, I can go out of the house. <laughs> right. So tell me about the transition that you made. So yeah, you made that decision. And I, no, I, I've been to Unleash the Power Within. By the way, guys, um, if uh, you have a chance to go there, do it. It's like one of the most transformational experiences that you can, that you can have. Um, but there's also you go out and then you get into the real world, right? Now you need to take action to your points, right? So, so how did you do that? So I've known people go to UPW and that they've lived off their high for about six months. And I think Tony says in his seminars, you can live off this for a good six months. But then they start going back to their old ways and back to their habits. Yeah. So yeah. I did not want to do that. I understood the power of momentum. And I'd done exactly what he said. I, I got a coach and I kept that momentum up. And we worked on, because, yeah, I came out feeling amazing, but I still had some confidence issues. I still, you know, I wanted to public speak and I still couldn't do that. So there was bits I still needed to work on. Um, so I got myself a coach and we worked, I think we worked every week together and then it dropped off a little bit to like every two weeks. And I just kept, kept working, kept working on anything, anything I needed to work on. Literally, I worked on it and I took the action in every steps of all my life. Yeah. And yeah. The, the results have just been fantastic. <laughs> And I could I could talk to you for so much longer. Unfortunately, our time we have, we have limited time. So, uh, tell me real quick uh, about your book. It has just been released. I think it's uh, uh, just this week came out uh, or last week in, on Amazon. So you still have that review tag on there. I see that. I did the same. Um, so it's out. So it's called uh, Motivated Mummies by uh, Tammy Rolf. The Motivated Mummies Guide to Confidence. Um, so this one's all about confidence. I'm hoping to bring out another guide to like, relationships and a guide to letting go of guilt because that's very important for mums. So there should be a sequence coming out, a sequel coming out so soon. Okay. Let's sell your first book first. As go to Amazon, like look for Motivated Mummies Mamas, by, by uh, Tammy Rolf. Um, and uh, all the mums out there, right, that, that would want to start a business, right, how can they get in touch with you? They can get in touch with me on Facebook. I'm, I hang around on Facebook quite a lot because I do videos in my group. To and help. we have, like, if you look, guys, if you watch this here on, on Facebook, it's either there, 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 wherever you watch it, right? So we, will, we have a link to your profile. Um, and so go ahead and go ahead and with Tommy. So just, just wanted to, to interject that. Sorry for interrupting, but go ahead. I've got a website, which is themotivatedmummies.com. And we will so put that link that. in the comment box also. Okay. <laughs> and they can also the the action points that are in the book. They're also on a website, which is the Motivated Mummies Guide to Confidence website. So if they if they just want the action points but don't want to buy the book, then you can go onto the website and you can work through the action points as well. Okay. Super. So, lots of help. So, Jamie Rolf, so if you are a mother who wants to start her own business, um, do get in touch with her. Uh, go to Amazon right now, buy that book, Motivated Mummies. And um, I see you next week. In the meanwhile, stay amazing.